you would think since like they want more women tuning in um that if they're like oh women like women's wrestling we want more women tuning in obviously we should have more women's matches yeah, they just can't depend on all of us panting after Kenny Omega. I mean, <laughs> or Wardlow. Yeah, that too. Yeah. I think who else on that show that like people who like men would be into? Orange Cassidy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he does have a. There. I personally am not attracted to Orange Cassidy, but I know that certain people on this podcast are. <laughs> um. I don't know what you're talking about. MJS probably another one. He's he's a cute kid. He looked really good last night. That was such like Austin rock energy to me to the point where like MJF even did an eyebrow towards the camera <laughs> at one point. I was like, this is definitely Austin rock adjacent. <laughs> you have he your has like collar. the collar. Yeah, he has that lion tattoo where the rock has the brown had the Brahma bowl. Right. I mean, they do kind of fit a little bit. Like, you know, Mox is like your blue collared anti establishment. Yeah, leather jacket, like used to drink beer. Um and then MJF seems more Hollywood. But like he's, he's gonna more- be he's gonna be in that movie um i think it's the one about the von erics oh yeah yeah. Okay. Yep. yeah so yes <laughs> yeah i forgot that yeah which i want to see i love zach efron um oh i thought i was gonna sneeze sorry okay i'm better <laughs> um i love zach efron what they've done to his hair <laughs> Or that wig that they have you seen any of the pictures from? Not, oh, not <laughs> oh, it's special. It's there's body, there's a bad haircut, but it's it's the Von Erics, all right. Yeah, that seems like it would be interesting. I'm I'm probably gonna watch that when it's on a streaming thing. I also still wanna. I haven't looked it up yet because I, I don't watch the that show. Was it Young Rock or whatever? Oh, yeah. yeah I like Young Rock. <clears throat> I haven't watched it, but I want to see, um, I'm sure it's probably on YouTube, Becky Lynch as Cindy Lauper. Yeah. Because I heard that she got that accent and like Cindy Lauper's voice like down. I heard she did a really good job. To the point where I thought it was dubbed. Yeah. Like Cindy Lauper has such a distinct voice. It, it's so even still like childlike almost mm-hmm. and she's but her six she's got in her 60s by now i and then you know becky is more of a deeper tone to her voice and a very thick, thick irish, irish. Brogue, which probably can translate to like a new yorkish accent pretty well considering most of the northeast's background is like irish and italian and that's how most of these accents ended up coming but yeah, I, I'm dying. I keep forgetting I want to like look it up and then it's it'll on hit Hulu. Me. Is it the show? Yeah. Cause um uh Coco Banna plays the Brooklyn Brawler on it as well. Um and he does he does a he he is fun as Brooklyn Brawler. Sure. I think it's great that they got like real current active wrestlers to play like old school wrestlers or you know, like musicians or whatever and and Becky's kid. Like they used modern wrestlers for this show i think that's pretty cool yes yeah um yeah it's 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 definitely fun um and so it jumps ahead to the future where the rock is running for president and then he's telling a reporter like his stories and it jumps back but it's not chronological like he picks and chooses chooses stories throughout so like there's several actors right now playing the rock um, like there's like little kid rock, there's teenager rock, there's college rock. Like it's it's quite something. And I have to binge that one day if I have like nothing to do and nothing to watch. Cause I, I always feel like I would probably like this. It's the rock and it's about wrestling. And I'm sure it's like mostly accurate. I, I bet you some things are probably not. Like the fact that I don't think he had a close relationship with his dad, but it makes it seem like that from the previews that I saw. 
it's so when he's younger yes as he gets older like he really he he talks about his father's shortcomings okay. for sure but how he like in the moment he talks about it like as a kid he also like he shoplifted a lot at one point because they were really poor and he talks about that so 